Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Danmachi season 3 episode number 8. Okay, um, the previous episode was something that, uh, what can I say, like, that was pretty intense. Uh, it was uh, like bell breaking down almost in front of everyone because obviously like the pressure that was being put upon him. He had to like stand uh, against the people who had one, he had once had his back. Uh, the people who had helped him <clears throat> during his time of need he has to stand against them and that is something which is like puts immense pressure on someone and he has to face that all alone like standing in front of uh, all of the people like all of the town uh, like people who are living there uh, in front of everyone so <clears throat> that is something pretty damn big and he has to like uh, carry it uh, with like he has to carry that pressure by himself he doesn't even know if like uh, the members of his family would be able to intervene or not and if they intervene they might also get uh, <coughs> get uh, uh, like blamed because uh, like uh, blamed of being a traitor so like all of those things uh, <coughs> mixed together he is having a breakdown like a mental uh, like a breakdown so I don't know how he's going to <clears throat> like cope up with it at least like the Zenos are on the way and they're probably like get this on later and they can like help him but still like I don't know let's see let's see this well, like what this episode brings and also the Minotaur is also on its way so a lot of things so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number 8 of Dharmachi season 3 okay I'll be putting subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's um, six. <coughs> oh boy, he's still not let them. Oh, wait, it's a minotaur, yeah, how is he here, he was like out in the open in the previous episode. <coughs> oh boy, that is scary, well, you better run. Oh my god, wait. Wait, did he die like that? Wait, that's that's how he died? Okay, I was not expecting that happening suddenly. Um I don't know, like well alright then. <clears throat> but how did why did the Minotaur suddenly like get inside the dungeon? He was outside, did he like, I think he like went back, most probably. <clears throat> so, dicks won't be a problem then, after this, I'm hoping. So, the only thing that uh, Bell has to uh, handle is uh, the people, uh, uh, Loki familia, and um, the Minotaur. Well, at least like um, one problem has solved in itself, like the dicks, whole dicks problem. Oh boy, like I'm sure like eyes will be against the whole thing. Yeah, let's see. Bell Cranel the fool. Oh boy. Oh no. <clears throat> Oh 
Oh boy. What? What's he doing? What? Wait, why did he like suddenly fireball to that place? Oh, he so he's going like that. All right, so he's playing this card. But will it work? I think he's most probably like trying to like calm it down and then like say something about like I dealed with it. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, thank God. <clears throat> they can like stall them. What? Um. Okay. Oh boy. Damn, he like kicked the dragon into the ground. Oh my god. Well, he is strong. I know that. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh my god, well, they are completely like dominating the place. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> All right. Yep. What is that? Oh, Golem. Okay, this will, yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What? So easy? It must be something in his inner weapon. Oh my god, fails. Oh boy. Hmm, kind of. Oh. <laughs> oh, Hermes took. Ooh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, it'll... Yeah, whole family is uh, going to get prosecuted. Oh boy, uh, that's the Minotaur, I'm guessing, isn't it? Yeah, all right. 
Okay, let's see how they go against this monster. Oh my god, all right. Oh. Well, this will bide enough time for Bell to run away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I think this is uh, yeah, this is a different Minotaur, isn't it? I'm guessing like the one uh, Bell fought in season 1, not that one. And like this Asterius like the Greek um Minotaur. Oh my god. Uh, she's an Amazonist. She's strong, but okay. But a Minotaur is... Oh no. Oh boy. Oh my god, this thing! Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, thank god this Minotaur like, like saved Bell indirectly. Like he was able to run away. Dual wielding Minotaur. Okay. All right. Let's see. Well, obviously, Ice will be able to beat it. She's level seven, isn't it? Yeah. Wait. That's it. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, well, Bell has a long way to go. Okay, so it is the same Minotaur. Yeah. Oh, oh no! I... What the hell? Use this horn. Okay, thank God. Yeah. Yeah, the leaders will have to like take. Well, now it's over. Like the Minotaur can't do anything anymore. Like I'm sure of that. Oh. Wait, what? Who the hell is helping the Minotaur? Oh, why is helping the Minotaur? Uh, she's. Oh, she's helping uh, the uh, Xenosis. Okay, yeah.
Did the Minotaur run away as well? Yeah. Yeah, it ran away. Okay. Well, the Minotaur was like a blessing in disguise. For the time being. I don't know like if it will go for Bell later on. But first you have to calm her down. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Blocked him. It's Colosseum. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. This is bad. This is bad. Oh no. Wait. God damn. What? God, what? God damn it, this guy. Thank you. Wait a minute. <clears throat> oh no, please no. What? Oh no, what the hell?
the hell? No. Wait a minute. Is he, is he resurrecting her? Come on, please, please, just... Come on, come on. Like, please, just... What return? No. Resurrect, resurrecting. I remember that smell from uh, spell from uh, Danmachi Memory of Freeze. <coughs> I think it's resurrecting. Come on, come on. Thank God, <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh, I was really like concerned for a bit. Like, okay. Oh, well, turns out everything is not so bad. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, he is mortal. <laughs> One of the best episodes, I have to say. What the hell, my hair is sticking out. What, what is this? What the? Definitely the best episode of this season. I was really like starting to get concerned for a bit like after she really like disappeared I I kind of I, I, the thing almost like went out of my mind that Fels is here like he can resurrect I doubt there are like limitations but still Like, uh, like, there's a thing, like, I have to say, like, if they really killed her off, like, the sadness of losing her will be one thing, but the more sad thing that is going to happen was, like, all of Bell's, like, uh, hard work, the thing that he tried to do would or be all in vain. Like, that's the main thing. Okay, there's something more. Wait. Yeah, that's kind of correct.
downfall. Yeah, that's the end. Okay. Yeah, the thing that fell said that uh, hypocrites uh, are the one that are like have the right to become a hero. Uh, it's kind of true. Like fools and uh, like heroes are basically that. Like they're fools, they're hypocrites, but that's what makes them a hero. And uh, like look, like just think about it. A person who saves others uh, without uh, make like uh, having any concern for his own well-being and uh, like a person uh, who saves everyone without discrimination those are heroes uh, they can be defined as fools and hypocrites like uh, these things can be like uh, what can i say like in uh, practically <clears throat> uh, they are kind of that but that's what makes them a hero like a hero is something that or someone who without any um like discriminations saves, saves each and every one like if you have someone whom you can save be it a good person or a bad person a hero is someone who helps them without any like discriminating uh, discrimination that's what kind of makes them a hypocrite at the same time but that's what also makes them a hero and being a fool is because like they without any concern for their own lives without their concern for anything like uh, only for like saving us someone certain someone uh, they take on uh, uh, like uh, everything the, they can even take on the whole world that's what makes them a fool and also a hero at the same time so yeah like uh, that was like a really good thing Phil said and uh, <clears throat> like uh, there are like a lot of animals I've seen like a lot of people kind of get uh, mad at the main character being kind of like uh, what can I say? Uh, an epitome of uh, kindness or an epitome of uh, like being a hero. Like uh, people get mad at those kind of things. Like uh, and they kind of say like, yeah, these kind of things does not make a good main character. But that's the reason why they are the main character. Like they are the hero. So yeah, like there are a lot of things in these kind of thing like uh, matters. Like being a hero, being an anti-hero. These kind of like uh, there, there are a lot of way people become like a big like what can I say someone who like uh, fights in like for the justice and uh, people who like there's a difference between people who fight for the justice and people who are heroes like heroes are a completely different thing and if you guys remember Bell's um, uh, dream was to become a hero his dream was to become that guy who is a fool and who saves each and every one and uh, like the story of Argonaut and uh, like that is the main thing of this uh, anime and he's trying to do true to that and that is one thing that I think everyone can respect all right so yeah um, okay what was I saying previous completely left. anyways uh, let's talk about this episode um so yeah uh, Okay, so I was really like, excuse me, concerned about this episode, like, kind of like went, uh, like at the beginning it was nothing, like not, not, not much of concern because like the Minotaur came in and all of them were like trying to uh, stop the others, like other Xenoses from rampaging and this kind of like helped Bell uh, buy some time and he kind of ran away, but like after that, like I was still not concerned because usually um, like uh, I expected this episode to be something like Bell uh, succeeding to like and uh, take uh, Vina and running away and uh, then like uh, I thought maybe like they will like fight against uh, Loki Familia and like the whole like thing will be a mess and all of the like people all of the whole town would be against him and stuff like this she will like rebel and for and fight for Vina and stuff like this. I thought these things were going to happen, and it was kind of going in that direction. But I suddenly become concerned after like uh, the guy, um, it's his teammate. He stabbed her. That was when like suddenly I became concerned. Still, I, I thought maybe like somehow like the vital spot was missed and she was going to turn out to be okay. But then my concern like started to grow because obviously after they like were, like fell down and um, things started to become like ash and 
like the main concern I started feeling was when uh, the crystal was exposed from like inside Wiener. I thought like no, this is going somewhere like that I did not expect at all. And then a certain like fear started to come into my mind. I thought that maybe like they were going to sacrifice Wiener and like make this kind of a uh, whole what can I say like uh, her being sacrificed and Bell getting the resolve from that or stuff like this like that usually happens. Like uh, I thought maybe uh, like Wiener was like going to be sacrificed and it will be like acting as a trigger. Or Bell to like fight for the others, you know, or so something like this, or like rebel against this whole system. Like that was kind of in my mind. I I really got concerned because of that. So when like uh, Phil started um, chanting that spell, uh, it kind of felt relieved. I think that I thought that maybe, just maybe, like she's going to come back. And after like Phil's um, like said the name, what was the spell's name? I forgot. Like uh, like I said, like I played uh. Done much memory of this, and in that uh, game, uh, I had Fels like as a character, and he like I think he was like the one of the most pow powerful healers in the game, and like uh, the main thing with him was I think he was able to resurrect, and the um, I'm not sure I can't remember like uh, time when I played the game. There was something like that, and uh, the spell he mentioned it it was something like resurrection. I'm not sure I can't like. So uh, after like hearing that spell, like I thought like yeah probably she's going he's going to like bring him back. Oh yeah, I remembered what I was what I was going to talk about, uh, like what I was talking about. So I was saying that uh, the main problem here was like if uh, Vini was killed, like her death would be a sad thing in itself. That is not the point. The main uh, like saddest part of it will be like Bell uh, started this whole thing. Like Bell started to like care for these uh, monsters and decided to like uh, like thought that yeah fighting against them uh, like uh, fighting for them is something that he should do because these guys are just like humans they have a consciousness they have a, a mind to think and after like interacting with Wiener he came to a decision that he will fight for the Xenosis so like Wiener was the trigger for it so like if she died that meant that everything that Bell did was for naught. Like, what did he fight for then? Like, if he could not save the one person who he decided to save and, like, after interacting with whom, he thought that, uh, I will fight for these people. Like, that person, if that person, like, died, that would have been, like, extremely bad and, like, I really did not want that. Like, this is, like, a whole new, like, whole, what can I say, like, his resolve would be broken like uh, I don't know like how he would have been able to come back from that he would have been like I don't know like it would have been a real bad thing for Bell especially so <laughs> thankfully they brought uh, brought Wiener back and um, like uh, like I also kind of like because of like all of the excitement I forgot that Phils himself was kind of an immortal so obviously uh, he must have had a power to bring them back I like everything slipped my mind I all of the things that were happening and I thought maybe this uh, episode was going to be like uh, Ice and the Loki family are fighting with Bell but it turned out completely different and uh, like the Minotaur suddenly came in and like killed dicks and came in and started fighting them and these were like all unexpected things like it did not go as I anticipated it to go and um, I have to say like uh, this was one of the best episodes this season, definitely. Like in season one, was the uh, the episode that I loved the most was as definitely the Minotaur episode where like Bell fought the Minotaur, and also the Lily episode when like uh, Bell saved Lily, uh, and Lily uh, like after being Lily was betrayed. Those two were like one of the best episodes that I've had in season one. Season two was kind of okay. I really did not uh, find any episode being so good that. Uh, should be mentioned it was good but not as good as the se as season one i loved like the ishtar's uh, arc especially like um, um freya <laughs> slapping ishtar <laughs> and killing her <laughs> just like that and that was like the funniest thing that uh, season but this season definitely this episode was the best and um yeah i have to say like hats off like this was I don't know like how you guys liked it or not, but I really liked this episode. This was 
like this was like on at par with season one's episodes and uh, i'm really liking this season because it is like well paced season two i thought maybe was a little bit fast paced like everything was happening so quickly like we barely got to like uh, like settle down like one thing after the other and the whole like uh, war games was like completed in one or one episode i think i think a lot of people were angry about that because like it was like uh, i think a lot of things happened in that uh, whole like war games and also like it was a lot anticlimactic with uh, like bell giving one punch like one punching the guy like that was a, little, a lot of anticlimactic i think that was the reason why season 2 was a lot like a lot of people did not like it and I have to say, like, uh, season two had it's a lot of flaws. But uh, this season, I have to say, like, it is um, well paced. Like, I'm not finding it, like, going too fast or going too slow. It's kind of nice, like, a uh, well paced um, progression. And uh, it is, like, uh, like nice to, like, watch all of the episodes. And it is, um, especially this episode, kind of, like, made it um, one of the, what can I say? Like, it's a good season. Basically, I'm trying to say that, <laughs> like, uh, especially this episode, and I hope, like, this is the uh, eighth episode. Uh, there will be, I'm guessing, uh, four or three more episodes. I'm not sure how many episodes this season has, but uh, I'm hoping, like, uh, we'll get to see like a good finale. And I don't know how they are going to go after this one. Like, uh, Winnie is kind of saved. Most probably, they'll like go into hiding and bell will like uh i think have to confront uh the loki family and he is most probably going to get questioned or something I'm not sure and i'm not also not sure like how the whole xenos thing is going to be handled after this and also the thing with the minotaur there are a lot of things still left like what will the minotaur do now <clears throat> excuse me so yeah a, a few things still left and um yeah oh another thing is like i thought maybe the minotaur was something else like completely different like his appearance i don't know his appearance does not match the season one minotaur does it not sure okay his horn is pretty um similar to the first uh, season uh, i'm not sure like i i cannot like differentiate between minotaurs like they look all the same like like they have like a bull like uh, that's the face of a bull, isn't it? Yeah, like, how can I differentiate between Minotaur faces? <laughs> so I'm not sure if this and uh, season one Minotaur is the same, but, but uh, the thing with Freya, when like Freya was sent sitting and, um, what was this guy's name, the strongest, um, who is like always beside Freya? I, I forgot his name as well. Anyways, um, uh, when like Freya said that uh, you remember th uh, this thing, don't you? And he said that uh, it can't be. So that I think that kind of like uh, insinuates that this is the same Minotaur. We don't know how it came back. I thought he he died. Like the bell killed him. So was he like resurrected or something? I'm not sure. Or or did he like? Uh... No, that cannot be. Like I was thinking maybe this is like his second life. Like, you know, reincarnation, but if this was like his reincarnation, then like he's so big, like he must be a lot older. So if he was a reincarnation, he would have been a small little Minotaur now, like not this huge thing. So it might, it, it, it's not the Minot uh, reincarnation, it must be something else. I don't know, it must be like, there must be something that is happening. Like Freya also doesn't know. So that means this is not Freya's, uh, like, um plan or something like in the, in the first season uh, the whole thing was uh, Freya's plan like she did it to like test Bell so this is not something that Freya did so this is this must be something else we'll see most probably and uh, yeah this was the episode I'm glad that um, Winnie is safe and I hope everything like turns out fine I know it won't because obviously people won't forgive Bell the whole thing if they like come to know that uh, Bell has been uh, sheltering this uh, so-called monsters let's see but one thing I have to admit this was one of the best episodes this season loved it amazing and 
I hope we get to see more uh, episodes like these as well. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, this was episode number eight. And uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to share about this episode, the anime, anything, just comment. I'll be sure to check them out. And uh, so yeah, I'll be back with a new Danmachi episode next week, same time. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And as I've said before, this was one of the best episodes. I loved it. So thank you guys. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.